Uh, hello guys, the things you see on your screens is Air Psych on Pico Solder Station I purchased a few days ago and uh, f I just needed one one uh, soldering station, small so, so my, like micro soldering station for, for my desk and I've just purchased it without even you know checking the specifications or anything I thought it's Ursa and you know it's it's good enough uh, basically this is cheap soldering station, nothing much I think 100 or something euros but as soon as I opened the package I noticed this to my disappointment and this means that uh, soldering station is not uh, earthed, not grounded the tip at least is not grounded and so I thought maybe this was like, I don't know they were trying to save some money and I checked the label on the cable, it says two wires and I even cut it I even cut the cable, I don't know if can the camera focus, but there are, there are only two two wires in it, so yeah, you can forget about it. And the next thing I did, I took apart this front panel, I've taken it off and it, that's very easy because uh, it's, it's holding only by these uh, two tabs. And there are cooling openings down below and there are this grill on top of this uh, front panel. I didn't even um, switch on this soldering station because I need my soldering tip to, tip to be grounded. So the next thing I did, uh, I noticed this is the connection. So this is a board edge connector going uh, plugged in like this. I don't know, can you see this plugged in like this into this board edge uh, connector? And then I've checked with my multimeter, I've checked all of these connections and this one over here uh, is connected to this uh, uh, to, to this wire over here but that wire was not connected so only only four wires are connected on this base station so uh, most probably they are they are using this front panel on on two or three different models and one of these models is grounded most probably through this uh, through this uh, uh, wire over here that's missing so the next thing I did, I checked this soldering, the soldering tip, the iron itself, and it's uh, very simple. This is the heater element that goes, uh, it's lined something like this, yeah, plugged in like this, and uh, there is tip goes like this, and there is this thingy, screw thingy that you secure it over over here, but we don't need this over, and uh, so yellow wire yellow wire is connected to this would be ground and i checked with multimeter this yellow wire is actually connected it's uh, grounding the whole tip so hopefully i could ground i could ground this tip with uh, just connecting this wire to a ground so uh, next thing i try to do is to take this uh, base apart and it looked pretty easy i just tried to open these two tabs but then I noticed something's uh, something's wrong. I, I just couldn't take it apart. It looked uh, as I as, as I would break. I, I would break this, and there are no screws whatsoever. So I took my uh, I took my light and I tried to look inside. I don't know. Can you can you see it? I'll try to do it. I'll try to get camera to focus somehow. Yeah, but n n never mind. Um, actually, um, what did they do? They this cover is actually glued with with this tab, this hole, this hole, and and then this like isolation one, like like small piper uh, going around the cable, and everything is potted in some some potting compound, uh, most probably polyurethane or something. So forget about opening it and inspecting the transformer inside or, or whatever. So my idea is to to ground this tip somehow. I'm not um, I will not be bothering uh, purchasing new station. Uh, difference between this one and next one that's grounded. That actually Ersa was not lying. They, they are not uh, advertising this as being grounded for for whatever reason they are doing that. And um, so I will I will try to ground it myself. I will just I will put a hole through this and uh, I will I will I will uh, inst I will install here a new cable with three wires 
and two wires will be live going live and neutral going to this uh, transformer and the other wire I will put through here and then I will pull it through here with all these all other wires and I will connect it to here and that hopefully will be enough to ground my to ground my tip is it worth it no the dif the the difference in price of this soldering station uh, to a next one I don't know what's the name nano or milli or whatever they did uh, whatever they named the thing is like 10 or 20 euros or something I'm really not sure but I didn't bother to check uh, so I will try to to connect all of this I will not be recording that and then I will get back and try to switch on try to switch on this uh, soldering station okay so this is the plan I will cut I will cut this cable shorter and this is the cable I'm going to use and I will this grounding wire will go somewhere through here I, I will put a hole through it and go through whole base and then I will connect it to a front board and I will I will splice these I will connect these these together okay this is what I've got now so I've added um, I've added this this wire I, I punched the hole through here and now this wire is going over here this is not the prettiest thing I ever did but I, I didn't have long enough uh, shrink fit tubing I will I will buy a long one so it will cover all, all of this and so the only thing left to do is uh, cut off this wire to length and then plug it into a front panel and, and test the thing out so as soon as I do that I will plug it in and uh, check is it working okay so I've put everything together and this is the grounding wire and that that grounding wire over there is connected uh, to ground here so I'll use my multimeter just to check the continuity between these two okay so I have this one over here and this one yeah this is good enough so so let's try to plug it in so I didn't see this but the soldering station comes with this uh, with this small soldering station stand and it's kind of rub rubbery like and like a silicone or something uh, I think that's good enough so let's plug this in Okay, so this is the first time I'm plugging in this, plugging in this, uh, switching on this soldering station. So let's give it a try. Mm, nothing. Ah, okay, it's heating up. Oh, it's smoking. Let's bring in some soldering wire. It's getting up pretty fast, it's 360 or something. To set it up. Aha, uh -huh, okay. I'll bring it down to, I don't know, can you see it? Bring it down to 300. Uh, I'll clean the tip. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, I can use this just uh, for a. Uh, you know quick work on my desk and uh, still I have my JBC soldering station that it's, you, know, you cannot compare it to uh, the thermal coefficient and uh, tip, select, tip selection but also the ERSA comes with a good tip selection I, I purchased these three because I thought uh, this is the original tip that came with the station I cannot touch it and you know, let's try to focus it yeah so this is the same as this one and um, I checked the I checked the catalog and they said that, that this station is coming with the regular conical tips so that's why I purchased these three uh, I like chisel tips and um, I'll give it a try and maybe I'll make a review of this station 
Uh, I was trying to read the menu to check what's what's with this uh, SD card thing. I, I think it's for programming the programming the soldering station, but I think I don't I I don't need it. Uh, er everything that can be seen is you know everything that I use here is just set the temperature and th th that's it. Thank you guys for watching and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up.